Hey guys, it's me, Jenny, Vintage Soul Crafter, and I just thought I would bring you out to my car with me because I went to this estate sale this morning, and this is what it looks like right now. A um, couple things will be for me, for storage and whatnots, and I don't even know how, like, I'm going to go through, look at this cutie patootie, look at this alphabet sewing cards, O-M-G-M, I almost, I actually did turn around, I was going to go and I, and I was like, no, I don't need to do that, I need to stay home and work on my own craft projects, this is like a haul share in my car, um, because there's actually one particular box that I want to get out that I can use for my own Christmas projects before I start removing all the rest of these to put into my garage and my area and so forth. Um, yeah, I almost, I did turn around and then I turned around again and was like, no, I'm going to go. This is, this is probably going to be the last estate sale of the year. And really, honestly, it is because this one, I didn't even make it through all of the rooms. I, I couldn't even, like, I thought about it later. I was like, oh, why didn't I turn my phone on? I was so consumed and overwhelmed with the scope of stuff and room after room and a backyard full. It was supposed to start yesterday, but we've had pouring rain. And I really need to take a picture of the mountains for you because they are covered in snow. This is just a pretty little tin. There were several of them. These were some of those like shortbread cookies and I thought this would be good for buttons and then underneath here is just layer after layer of um, not even completed cross stitch embroidery projects pillowcases uh, I'm not sure if there's any pillowcases actually I think this is a um, a table runner but yeah, I saw these at the antique fair. I think, no, that was on the first part of my video that got deleted. And I saw a bunch of empty ones, you know, hadn't yet been started um, at the antique fair, vintage ones. And the lady was wanting, I don't even remember, but too much, more than I was, more than I was certainly going to spend. Um, because there were several of them and they were adorable. So I, I don't know, there's something about the way those look that are appealing to me that I think would be fun for a giving you just giving you a little sneak peek a um a junk journal or collaging or any of that okay this is not perfect and typically I don't buy things that aren't perfect but I figured it was a deal but it's a Hager it's Royal Hager um and he's just a fun duck planter so yeah Sorry, UPS guy. Again, not stopping here. It's shocking to me. It's shocking. Um, which is fine, actually, because like I really need the UPS guy stopping here after I just did this huge estate sale haul. I'm, it's so, it would be so tempting to go back when it's half off. I mean, there's still, Bonnie, you gotta go. There's still gonna be a ridiculous amount of treasures. Look at that. Look at that! Oh my gosh, I've been looking for these. It's got a little tear. That actually, I might have actually done that when I was, but no big deal at all. It's so fun. Vintage Halloween. Gobs and gobs of stationery. Underneath the stationery, there's some vintage calendars that are really cool. Um, I actually did find underneath here, there's this paper um, die cut turkey. Where's the box of the other stuff though? Lovely. Oh, I love vintage stationery. Don't you love vintage stationery? Coloring books. There's gobs of coloring books in here. Uh, several golden vintage golden books. So yeah, I did find, I was able to grab some. Um, this lady had over a thousand books and somebody's actually still living in the house. I was able to find some Christmas vintage golden books. So I will make haste and get those listed in the shop. But I'm looking for this other box of, as I fall, oh, of course, it's the one in the back. Look it. Look what else I found. The Better Homes and Gardens um, Beauties. Oh, yeah, I got to get, oh, shoot. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this scarecrow. It's a cookie jar. Oh, my God. Made in Japan, of course. <gasps> He's so 
little cutie's lost his hat for the moment. It's down here. It's down here. And I found another jab turkey. Oh, I love it. Okay, here's his hat. Look it. Look it. This lady had mm, 50, 50 plus cookie jars. Sorry, this is a janky, totally janky video. And I'm alright with that. Um, yeah, this. Oh, this complete Christmas book. Uh, talk about junk in your trunk. Um, I didn't even look at it. I just knew I had to get it. Oh, there are some superb, fabulous, dynamite, adorable. There, it's not even full color, but that is a huge part of the fun of it, right? Is the fact that it's not full color aprons. I just saw these lovely ladies back here. Where did they go? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh. You should totally check out my shop here in the next day or so. And I am going to announce right now that beginning on the 20th, I am having my first ever Etsy shop sale. Buy two or more items and you get 15% off. Just the front, just the, just the um, book cover is dynamite. Did I say dynamite already? It's Da Bomb. Ha! Um, 1961. So, yeah. And, of course, the book, the, the thing I'm looking for is in the back over here. Be very careful with these. I would be so annoyed with myself if I broke these before I ever even unloaded them. I love this one. Better Homes and Gardens Junior Cookbook. That's an oldie. I'm pretty sure that's 50s. And, okay, this whole box highlights. Highlights magazines from, I don't know, those ones are all the 1960s right there. I don't even know. Let's see. Somebody was just commenting on on one of my videos that I just did um, about highlights books. And then I go and I see this entire Humongo 1961 box of highlights books. I used to love, my sister and me would do the um, hidden, hidden pictures. And then this is a box of goodies. Her nose has got a little crack, but I think there's the three bears in here, pretty sure. And they're little wall hangings made out of like, you know, that plaster Paris chalk kind of. And then these, oh, <gasps> Scotties, which are making a comeback. By the way, not Scotties themselves, but you know, Scotty kind of vintage -y retro art. If you have a Marshalls around you, go and look at the Marshalls. Christmas wrappings and tags and all that I had to get there was this tiny little piece of paper that I probably paid way too much strawberry shortcake Vintage wrapping paper, but so adorable Go and check out your Mar Marshalls for paper wrappings and and whatnots uh, Christmas stuff because they have some really fun 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 throwback Wrapping paper and things right now speaking of Scottish Terriers because there's one that has Scottish Terriers. Okay, that's that's what I'm looking for. I don't even know what all is underneath there, but I'm going to pull it out because I need it for my crafts. I got my, my glue gun heating up, so um, I will be back with you for more of my finds. Okay. Okay, guys, so I thought that I would... Um, I'm just holding my phone with my hand. So, again, this is a continuation of the janky the janky YouTube. And I just thought I would, you know, go through this. I'm in the process of making my daughter's Christmas present and I'm almost done with it and I, I am loving it. But I thought there might be some goodies in here that would be useful for it. So, um, yeah, so I figured we'd go through. I mean, <laughs> this is hysterical. The little slippers, the whole thing is fabric, but then we're gonna put these floppy, little papery, this is so like 50s to 70s goodness right here. The little pipe cleaner tail. Yes, it's a pipe cleaner. I remembered if you watched my other video of um, uncrafting, I could not for the life of me remember what those were called or what clothespins were called. It was late and it was just one of those evenings. So anyway, 
All right, I'm not going to spend that much time on each and every one of these. I just have a box next to me, and I have my light stand, like, perched on the ottoman right here. So hopefully it doesn't just go collapsing. I think those are supposed to be freckles, but they look like maybe they're measles, but she's cute anyway. That won't work, made in Japan. So adorable. I don't know what this manor discount some department store. These are these are cutie patooties, little um, vintage cards. I don't know if there's any envelopes in there. Yeah. Uh, no, there aren't. Let's wait. Okay, sorry. Hold the phone. Stop the presses. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. These are gonna. I think these are gonna get listed in my Etsy shop here shortly. I did list that book already. The um the vintage decorating entertaining goodness book this unfortunately it's supposed to be little folks set of six hand-painted wooded wooden christmas tree decorations um i love this made in taiwan these are so fun to use i'm also going to try to finish these little tins jello tins jello molds you know that i'm working on to list in my shop and i use little doodads like this little christmas sweet doodads sadly it's not a set of six it's a set of four but maybe down in all of this there will be two more we'll see okay continuing to dig um oh my gosh oh my gosh it's a little yarn ornament isn't she cute is she so cute <sighs> Oh, mercy help me. Oh, mercy help me. I am in tchotchke Christmas kitsch. <laughs> it's either heaven or hell, but I choose to believe it's heaven. Um, um, these little plasticky things like this, they just never really did much for me. Maybe for somebody. It might be cute with a bunch of glitter on it. Yeah, that could work. Um, oh, what? This is like origami... Uh, funky like wax paper from well, obviously handmade I don't want it to get crunched not so much into the pine cone I should have brought two boxes for me the box where things are going to go away oh golly I bet these are those homemade ones we used to make these did you guys used to make these where you take the plastic little pellets you can probably still make them and these would be cute, actually, on a wreath or something. You know, incorporated into some kind of cute little Christmas kitsch crafty thing. Those were so fun to make. Those were easy. Those were like the kind of craft that you can do that you will finish. You know what I'm saying? Not like those daggum yarn rug things. Good gravy. I'm not over it. I think it traumatized me. These are super cute. The lady had, it's made with those little plastic, um, you know, mesh thingies, which I've often thought would be good for other purposes. Next time I see those, I'm going to buy them. Um, yeah, she had, she had a lot of those. She had a lot of craft stuff. So she made these. Those are so sweet. Those would be fun. Those would be fun on the front of a junk journal, you know, just put on top of it, stitched onto the front. This is cute little nativity scene. I don't want anything to happen to that. Genteel with it. Genteel. Okay. Well, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I love gnomes. I love gnomes. And this is a gnome. I used to have a collection. I think this is one of those. Mm, Gosh, I just saw some. A woodland gnome in the prime of life, 275 years old. Gnome's eyes are surrounded by many wrinkles, mainly laugh wrinkles. Is that cute or what? That's out of that book, that gnome's book. 1978. So sweet. More yarn. More yarn, Decker. These are so precious. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's the misses. There's the misses. We shan't separate them. Those are cute. Yes. Aww. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh, 
This is adorable. Dang it, this would have been so cute for the gift I'm making our daughter. Urgh, it's too late now. It's too late. I don't have room for that. Little pick. Don't need that. And then there's all kinds of... Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh. Did I say oh, my word? Oh, my word. <gasps> Little cake decorating things. Oh gosh, that's a cute little Santy. <gasps> little cake topper, little dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, how fun. Oh, uh, oh, where's, where's Mr. Santa? She's supposed to be kissing the mister. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, this, this, oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Okay, wait. Oh, shoot. I wish I didn't have one of my hands occupied. Let's see if I can get them together. Oh, oh, aren't they sweet? Oh, they stand next to each other. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, you get the idea. Mwah. Mwah. Have a safe ride, Santa. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I want to go back to this sale when it's, you know, like the half off. I cannot imagine there won't still be items available because there was so much and they have to get it all out. They have to get it all out because the house is for sale. Excuse me, that's me slurping. Oh my gosh. And it's right around the corner from my friend Bonnie's house. <laughs> It's right around the corner from Bonnie's house. I have a commitment tomorrow and Sunday, actually. We go to a Hungarian church. And if you watch this, Ginger, hello, hello, hello. And they are, um, oh gosh, it's so delicious, you guys. Oh my word, mercy sakes. Oh, heavens, help me. Salt and pepper shaker. There's the N and the O with the spaghetti you know, porcelain spaghetti trim. This looks more like confetti trim than spaghetti trim, but okay. So Santa has the N and the O, and Mrs. Santa, Mrs. Claus. What was her first name? Does anybody know Santa's wife, Mrs. Claus's first name? That's not fair. If Santa has a first name, she should have a first name too. It wasn't Martha Claus. She reminds me of Martha Washington. That's who I always think of when I see her. But it's not Martha Claus. Is it Martha Claus? She's only just known as Mrs. Claus. These are little... Um, I have not heard of Yukago Ceramics Japan. Oh, gosh. This is, this is just... This is just like I can't hardly contain myself. I'm about ready to... I don't know what to do with it because I don't want anything to break. I didn't realize there was this much fragile stuff in here. And look at this one. <gasps> He's another little pepper shaker. Oh, and here's another one. To oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's so sad. That makes me so sad. His little leg. He was probably just tossed in here. Just chucked in here without any regard for the fact that he's fragile fragile oh i'm so sorry i know it's an inanimate object oh gosh oh there it is yes oh i wonder how that happened my husband might be able to fix it and then i'll have myself a salt and pepper shaker santa salt and pepper shaker no i can't. i hope that didn't happen while i was in the process of purchasing things. That sucks. No, probably not, because all this stuff is just, I don't know, the guy might have done it when he was looking through here. Okay, this is obviously breakables in this little container right here, and as I said, I only have one hand. This is Sears. Look at that. Sears Bambi. There's little... <laughs> I, I'm telling you, those cross-eyed doe eyes, they crack me up. Those are so cute. 
and then his little glued on white belly fur and tail. It's hysterical. There's another yarn goodie. She is precious. Martha Claus. Martha Claus. That works for me. And this is a little kitsch, plasticky, so cute. Made in Mexico. Sweet, sweet. Um, like just some kind of little styrofoam gingerbread man. Uh -huh. What, Otis? What? Do you hear that? Otis is, Otis is annoyed. Oh, there's the mister. There's the mister. He's got a super stash, a super yarn stash. Oh, look, that's so fun. Wouldn't it be fun to just do a kitsch tree, like a totally tacky, a tacky tree, a tacky Christmas tree would be so cool. Here's another. This is little Chip and Dale. Well, it's either Chip or Dale. I'm not sure. Another Sears ornament. Gosh, those are precious. Um, I know this lady loved salt. This is a a narco not narco <laughs> that was a jeopardy question yesterday the drug of choice for helping people overcome addictions i don't know where the other is it the pepper shaker with two holes uh uh uh, uh sir no you may not chew on that otis say hi to everybody you say hi you going to chew on that heating Pad, that would not be a good idea, my boy. He's trying to look innocent. What? Like what? I didn't do anything. I'm just laying here minding my own business, Mom. What's your problem? What? He's annoyed because he normally sits in my lap when I'm on the sofa and I'm preoccupied. You cannot chew on that. Either that or he has... He hides his bones. Um... He hides bones underneath sofa cushions and pillows and stuff. Yeah, if you come to my house, you just never know what you're going to find in the cushions. Okay, you guys, I have not even begun to crack the surface, and we're almost at like 20, 20 minutes here. So this is, this is just way too much goodness for, for me to take and go through because, you know, I can't do anything anything fast a little anarcho well, that one's not a salt and pepper shaker I started to say that the lady was um, she loved salt and pepper shakers in addition to um, I think this is like the Disney side over here it seems like in addition to cookie jars so here is rabbit I don't think this is, is this the Alice in Wonderland rabbit, you think? Or is this the Pooh Bear rabbit? Or is this Uncle Wiggly, not Uncle Wiggly, but um, what's it called? Um, oh, shoot. It'll come back to me. You know, it's the one that's politically incorrect now. They still have the ride. I can't think of it. You, Somebody can think of it and comment. Oh, okay. So there goes my... Okay, I guess I'm done because there goes my light and we can't do this without a light. And I brought a battery, but hold on. Hold on. Just hold on. I can't stop now. I'm going to change the battery. Okay, I'm back. Um, I started to say when the battery went dead, look at this poor little dwarf. His little nose. He needs some rhinoplasty help. He needs the botch doctors to help him because his nose got pushed into his face. Um, so over here is the Snow, Snow White. She's got quite the do there. Her front part of her hair is kind of bleached blonde and the back is, geez, Snow. She's got the front Snow White and then the back is 
is black. It's like some of the first ombre hair right there because I'm sure this isn't like recent. All right, so we got, I think we got all of the, maybe all of the dwarfs here. We got um, Dopey, even though one here, I'm not sure which one that is because his little tag fell off, but his little nose is, let's see, he's got issues because his nose, I don't know which ones these would be. It's easy to tell Dopey, and it's easy to tell, I think this is Grumpy. Um... I'm thinking this is happy because look at his smile. Even though his nose is caved in, he's, he's still all smiles. Uh, let's see. It figures that Dopey would be the one that has his tag still, even though it's easy to tell Dopey. This guy's kind of funny. It looks like a, um, it feels like a dog chew toy. <laughs> but <laughs> it's so big for his body oh it just cracks me up oh pooh bear oh my god oh my gosh oh my gosh it's a little pooh bear it's so cool he's so cute with his honey jar no not yet oh so cute and these are all flocked i don't know if you can tell probably you can and here's another pooh bear that was pooh bear with his honey jar that was after he was a little no, that's not the same one where he has the balloon. Or is it the same one? I'm just a little black rain cloud hovering under the honey. I'm probably not saying it right. It's been a while. We used to do that on VHS with the little bouncing ball, you know, on the words. Oh, geez. Those clothespin reindeer, which were so cute at the time, and now... I'm just, yeah, these, no offense to anybody out there who might still make these, but not my thing. Just not my thing. I probably made some. And Eeyore, what a cute Eeyore. And another poo with his little stocking. I'm, I'm thinking this lady had lots of grandkids. Oh, this is so cute. Probably this lighting isn't doing it justice. And I didn't like adjust it or turn it down or anything. Cute little mouse. Again, we only like mice when they're Christmas mice. Or pets. Although I'd rather have, I know somebody's going to freak out when I say this, I'd rather have a rat as a pet. They make actually really, really good pets. I don't want that to get broken, so I'll put it on the fragile side. Here's Tigger. Tigger, Tigger, Tigger. No bigger than a Tigger. With his glued on little fur there. That cracks me up. That's so cute. So I went to the sale and I don't know. I started to tell you, I think. I don't know if I finished my thought or not. And maybe I'm repeating myself, but that's nothing new. Um, the room, the room where the books were uh, all the children's books, because things are divide were divided out. The woman had over a thousand books. I'm pretty sure I told you that. It reminds me of the Partridge family bus except it's not really um she there were just a ton of people in there and that's for gla too but yeah put that down there put it with something soft um yeah and so uh now what was i saying <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so pathetic. Is this what it means to be over 50? Yes, apparently it is. Um, it was packed. The room was packed. Oh yes, yes. I was just simply saying that there's just there was just so much, and so much of it wasn't packed with people, I mean, and so much of it had um not been, you know, unpacked. Uh, there were drawers full of things and um, closets. It's it was a uh, one of those nineteen sixties fifties ish kind of homes, and so it has the built in closets that I I think are so cool, but they're not necessarily very practical, and built in you know drawers and all of that kind of stuff. These are so funky. That looks more like Halloween. 
Nightmare Before Christmas, I'm thinking, because those, those look like either aliens on that trolley, or that's kind of creepy. But, okay, Sears, Sears catalog surplus. Well, no wonder it's surplus, Sears, because if that's Christmas, okay, anyway. Um, yeah, so opening drawers and I, I really, I, I really would like to go back when they start to have everything on sale and it always kind of like, oh, I should wait until the sale. So either this is Chip and the other one's Dale. Does anybody know the difference? I certainly don't. I'll have to. Oh, here's Owl. This is, this is Pooh. This is, well, it's not Pooh, but it's Owl from, you know, Pooh. Love that. So, yeah, so um, here's Doc. Okay, he's easy, to, he's easy to distinguish. He doesn't have his tag either. It just cracks me up that Dopey's the only one with a tag. There's the Mr. and the Mrs. in their little sort of VW-looking thing. I kind of regret I found this cool box of Matchbox cars. It had all kinds of Matchbox cars in it, and as I was digging through things... And a man came into the room and he had like, you know, a little car toy in his hand. Oh, this little raggedy Andy. It's kind of, kind of funky cool. I mean, it's raggedy Andy, so, you know, but I don't know. It's kind of creepy gross too at the same time. Um, yeah, and so I was like, oh, do you like, you know... I don't know. I like to share the wealth. What can I say? And do you like um, cars? You know, is that what you're into? And I had found that that box of little matchbox cars, and now I'm like, oh, why did you give that to the guy? For pity's sake, Jenny. It's not your responsibility to take care of all the others, all the other estate sale shoppers. And this is pirate poo. Arr. Arr, I got a rumbly in my tumbly. Arr, that's pirate poo because one of his eyes is taken out. Probably by Tigger. No troublemaker. Oh, okay. Here's here's Raggedy Ann. She liked Raggedy Ann and Andy. She had some of their lots of their books, and she had some um, various different dishes, mugs, as well as uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, Cookie jars. We already looked at pirate poo. So, yeah. So, I gave the box of the cars to the guy. And I kind of thought maybe he'd be like, oh, you know, I don't really see anything in here. But, no, he took it. So, this is sleepy. Quite obviously, his nose is a little bit sleepy. It looks like, oh, no wonder he's sleepy. It looks like he's probably hitting the bottle a little there. Um... Okay, this looks like Grumpy, too. Where's the other Grumpy? Is this... Hmm. Okay, it is. It's the same guy. So there's two of those. There's another little raggedy Andy. And... Oh, he's missing his little tag, too. How come Dopey's the only one? How to tag. Who is this? This isn't... This isn't, uh... That's Doc. That's not Happy. We already met Happy. I'm thinking this is Sneezy because doesn't he look like he's about to achoo? I think he's about to achoo. All right, I'm almost to the bottom of this box, you guys. Here's another little measle face. <laughs> oh, gosh. Do you, do you ever make yourself laugh? Because sometimes I make myself laugh, and I'm the only one who laughs at myself. But I will sit here and I'll say something or say something to our daughter or whatever, and there's Humpty Dumpty. And it's the stupidest thing, but um, there's Martha Claus. And, but I'll just, like, make myself laugh, and then I sit here and crack up at myself. I don't know. A little caroler in a plastic ball. Help! Somebody put a curse on me, and I've been in this plastic ball for 50 years. I was born in Hong Kong. Like that. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, little, little styrofoam shoes, and there's the mister. 
see you. Mr. and the Mrs. right there. Um, I don't know if I'm seeing anything in here that, oh, that's cute. So cute. It reminds me of like those big, you know, those ads to draw those big eyed illustrations and then you send them in and for some kind of like scholarship they're going to pay for your college degree or something. I can't believe that didn't get crushed down there. That's, that's like a little candy box. And here's some more of these little funky monkey plastic things. Yeah, I'm not finding anything in here. It's making my nose stuffy though. That's for sure. Oh, here's another Humpty Dumpty. Big lipped Humpty Dumpty without any without any eyeballs. Little drums. More styrofoam gingerbread men. Oh my gosh. These are cute, these little ceramic. And then here's the styrofoam gingerbread houses. Uh, yeah. It's a little uh, plastic. Plastic. And now my phone's going dead. So there we go again. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, and here's measles Snoopy. So yeah, you guys, I think that's I think that's enough. Um, the next share that I do will be of the projects that I've been working on. And um, I don't think that was all seven dwarves I'll have to go through, or dwarfs, as our daughter used to call them, the seven dwarfs. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about clowns. Gosh darn it, Stephen King. And look, it's no wonder people are freaked out by clowns. Like, look at those eyes. What kind of eyes are those? A clown is just a person with makeup. No person has eyes like that unless they're some demon-possessed weirdo clown. All right, it's got to be it's got to be um rabbit from poo because that's that's what all of this is. So, okay, phone's going dead. It's been lovely. Thanks for tuning in. And um, if you want to see more from this estate sale, let me know. Yeah, I'll probably do it anyway. But let me know anyhow. All right. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are fun. Bye.